Pro. What's up guys, this is Dex and you're watching Dex Tech Pro. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the latest update surrounding the PlayStation 5 MTX Jailbreak, which has now added support for firmware up to 5.50. If you've been following my videos, you know that this is a significant step forward, but there are still some limitations to be aware of. The MTX jailbreak was previously available for a firmware version up to 4.51, but with this latest update, it's now compatible with firmware up to 5.50. This is great news for those of you guys running newer firmware versions who want to unlock your PS5's potential. However, it's important to note that while the jailbreak has expanded in terms of compatibility, it's not quite a full jailbreak. I'll tell you why in this video for sure. For users running firmware 1x, 2x, the jailbreak is highly stable. There are minimal issues and you can confidently use the jailbreak on these versions without too much worry. But things get a little thicker once you move up to firmware version 3x to 5x. Here, stability becomes more of an issue. Users on these versions may experience kernel panics, which can lead to system crashes. This highlights the need for further development to ensure a smooth, reliable experience on these higher firmware versions. One of the main challenges developers are facing with the jailbreak is the lack of payload support, which is essential for running custom apps and homebrew software. Unfortunately for firmware version 5x and above, payloads are currently non-functional. This is due to the major change in PS5 security system, making it much harder for developers to create fully working payloads on these versions. Additionally, the Leap Hacker, a crucial tool that helps convert the exploit into full jailbreak, isn't yet available for firmware 5.50. This means, even though you can unlock some features, like debug settings, the system still doesn't have the potential to run homebrew apps just yet. Developers are actively working on resolving these issues, so we can expect more updates in the future. The question is this, why isn't it considered a full jailbreak just yet? Because while the MTX jailbreak lets you unlock debug settings, it's still missing some critical elements to be considered complete. A full jailbreak requires stable payloads, which allow for a range of custom functionalities, like running homebrew apps. Unfortunately, this isn't fully possible on firmware version 5.0 and above at the moment. There is still significant work to be done to make the jailbreak reliable and fully functional across all firmware versions. Some users on firmware 5x have successfully jailbroken their consoles, but the results are fairly limited. For now, they are mostly able to unlock debug settings, but more advanced features like running homebrew apps are still out of reach. So if you are looking for complete system control, it might be worth waiting until the jailbreak becomes more stable and feature rich. Firmware support has expanded, but we are still waiting on more development for payloads and stability on newer versions. If you are running a lower firmware, you are in a pretty good spot, but you are on 5x or above, you might want to just wait for more updates before diving into the jailbreak. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest developments and that's the end of the PS5 jailbreak update news in this video. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. channel.